Good morning. So today I need to go find a white lab coat. And yes, it's morning, but um, my apartment is just very dark. I need to find a white lab, lab coat because I'm currently taking a self-tape class and we are doing a bunch of self-tapes of course as part of the course and I need to play a doctor today so I need a lab coat and it is so cheap online but I have to film this self-tape audition as soon as possible so I'm gonna go see if I can go to an actual store because if I get it on Amazon which it would be only $18 it'll arrive tomorrow and my goal is to send in that self-tape by tonight and not have to wait till tomorrow because the deadline is tomorrow at 1 p.m. so I need to memorize the scene I need to get a lab coat and then um yeah rehearse it but if you're an actor go get a lab coat or order a lab coat you're eventually going to need it for an audition so go get one uh so this doesn't happen to you because i feel like i'm gonna waste so much time today just trying to find one and it's monday and because i've had this class i haven't had so much time to pre-film so i'm actually going to film a video today about carla hall um she's a casting director by the time you're watching this the video is up and i basically want to talk more about casting directors on my web on my website on my youtube channel because i want to learn more about um casting directors and directors and filmmakers in general so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to first take uh 15 minutes to memorize the scene because it is a pretty short scene and um It'll take me about 15 minutes to memorize it. And by 15 minutes, I mean that I can memorize this in 15 minutes, but it's not going to be word perfect yet. And I'll still pause to think about, wait, did I say that right? Did I say you are or your? So I'm going to assume that this is gonna take me about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to memorize and really uh, have it in my brain absolutely perfect where I get it perfect every time. So this is going to take me a while, which is why I thought it would be a good idea to start memorizing it now so that while I'm out shopping, I can do a bunch of repetitions in the car and um, maybe I'll even take headphones and listen to it in the store. I was going to go to a different thrift store because there's a different one that's a lot further from me, but it's huge. And I thought, well, they should have some kind of scrub section. And in this thrift store that I went, it's probably the smallest one around me. And I looked through the blazers. I thought maybe if there's a white blazer, I looked through the guy's uh, white collared shirts in case they accidentally put it there. And then I even asked somebody, do you guys have a medical uniform section? And they're like, no, it's just spread out everywhere. And then I was about to leave, but I saw the long sleeve section had a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 um, long sleeve white shirts for women. And then in between just the normal white shirts for women, I found a white lab coat and it's Marvella White Cross. And um, it was five dollars and 29 cents with taxes and then you can round up at goodwill and donate so i think it was seven dollars and i'm so happy that i found it in the first place and it is material that is not wrinkly at all okay i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna hopefully get this clean oh and it's a medium which is perfect for me i'm so excited i'm so glad i didn't have to waste so much time in finding the lab coat since i'm already out and i didn't take that long to find this i'm gonna go to party city because it's my boyfriend's birthday on sunday and i want to decorate um i want to decorate like kelly kapoor's birthday when they forget it's her birthday and then they do like a makeup birthday for her and it, it's the sign is like it is your birthday and the balloons are black white and brown and the streamers are white and then she has a choice between sleeping for 30 minutes or watching tv for 30 minutes so i want to decorate like that so i'm gonna go to party city city and see if they have balloons that are the right color well it looks like uh the dollar store has the white ones and the black ones and streamers so i got that so now i just need the brown balloons
I was wrong about the lab coat, by the way. It was only $6 after tax and everything. And then after that, I ended up going to the dollar store instead of Party City because um, it was closer. And of course, it's a lot cheaper. So I got everything except for the brown balloons. And I got a clipboard for a dollar. So now I have an extra prop for a doctor. I'm going to go work on the video for today, though, and do my hair. And then later, when my boyfriend gets home from work, um, we're going to film the self-tape and then I'll edit it and send it over. Let me slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> I'm going to change into my, um, my doctor outfit. It's almost 10 p.m., uh, but I have been editing the other video and then I had a call that I, I, I didn't forget about because I had a reminder on my phone, but I had forgotten that I had to do that. Anyways, so now I'm going to change and my boyfriend's going to help me read. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about this audition um, or this self-tape homework, which is essentially an audition. It's, you know, it has the same importance, but I'm nervous about it because it's a very dramatic scene and I know I would perform it better if there was an actor um, reading the other lines, but there's no actor that I am comfortable with coming into my home um, and I would love to do it in person. So I'm going to have to experiment with other readers on Zoom or on the actor trade in the future for dramatic films like this. But for today, we're going to do our very best that we can and I'm going to change into a doctor outfit. <laughs> I'm too hyper for my own good right now. I need to get sad. This, this scene is sad. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> it, it's a really good thing that I didn't end up going to an actual... Oh, shoot. I was thinking that it's a really good thing I found this at a thrift store because not only did it only cost $6, including tax and everything, but it's going to look more used. It's not going to look so crisp and so clean and so new. It doesn't have any stains or anything distracting, but... Oh, okay, that's just the fuzz. Um, okay, there's like a tiny... The tiniest... But you can't see it, can you? Um... Yeah, so it's going to look used, like I'm a doctor, so that's a good thing. Okay, I need to get the rest of my outfit. Those pockets? I, let's see. I moved my self-tape setup a little bit more towards this corner because my bed is right here, so... The paper used to be a little bit more that way, but it wouldn't allow me to do a full body shot here. So I actually moved it a little bit more towards the wall, which it doesn't let us open the door all the way, but we don't need to open the door all the way. We can get there anyway. But um, tell me I don't look like a doctor. For some reason, whenever I think of a doctor, I think of like clean and dainty jewelry, especially in um, TV shows like Grey's Anatomy. But I put these on and then I slicked my hair in a little bit. I don't get the idea of, do of doctors having their hair down, but I see that a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that today. So then this way I can do a full body slate because that's what we need to do for this one. So here's my entire outfit. <sighs> Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. Oh my god, I need to think about something sad. Puppies dying without any love. <laughs> no you want to know something funny? That's what I was thinking about before. <laughs> <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> Not good enough. Nonverbal, like, like. So, I'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> Are you going to do the thing or not? Well, that's what I just did. We do that, so I need to, with my face, be like, as if I'm trying to tell you something. Yeah. You do a head and a head. More of a, like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's too comedic, but let's see. Let's try it. I'll see you in a few weeks. Don't make me laugh, Alex! Was that bad or why were you making me laugh? It was funny. 
Well, I'm trying to not be funny. I'm trying to affect you in like a escape here way. So it's obviously I'm not trying working. To escape. Hi, it's Tuesday and I just filmed one part one of two of my homework today for my self tape because um, this one's a two parter. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to put makeup on because for the second one, it's a dramatically different scene and class is going to start soon as well. It's 30 minutes before class, so I don't think I'll have time to um, finish my makeup and do the self tape before class. Um, I think I'll have to wait till later. And then the second part of the homework, there's one uh, line that somebody else is supposed to say. So I do need my boyfriend to say that line for me. I have a few minutes before class. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna film some or write some video ideas while I wait for class to start. The line is I'm talking to a couple of guys over there and I say, and then in the other one, you're going to be my boss at the gym, at the bar. Right. And your and your text is gonna be anything. Where are my lines? You need to stand there. I don't have any lines for this one. I just need an, a good eye line. Okay, let me try it one more time. Let me try a different. Wait for your drinks. That was the same, huh? <laughs> because okay, let me tell you what's happening. Those were like some gangster guys, um, and you told me you're like my boss at the bar, and you told me go check on them. I think they're like some mafia guys. And then I scare them away by saying I'm going to take their jackets. And then I, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, I just finished my homework for my self-tape audition class. And um, we did the class today. And I think my scene was okay. I was nervous because, like I said, it was it's a dramatic scene. But it ended up being fine. Um, so I just filmed today's homework, which today's homework was a lot of fun because I didn't have to spend a bunch of time memorizing it. So now I'm gonna edit it and send it over. Good morning, it's Friday. I hope and I want to continue vlogging because I I don't know what, what I was doing, but I looked at a vlog from a couple of years ago. When I first started my channel, my channel was just about everything. Whatever I felt like, it, like doing, I did it but I always vlogged. I had a weekly vlog where I talked about what I was doing acting wise and a little bit in my life in general. I thought I would do that again. If I don't put up a vlog on a Saturday, it's because I didn't have much going on that week. I'm gonna do my best to upload a vlog on Saturday. If it's not a vlog, it'll be something else, but I thought I would share with you guys everything that I'm doing acting wise. And I finally got back to tracking my auditions because in 2020, I've been tracking my auditions since I think 2018. I made a video about creating an Excel sheet. If you guys want an audition tracker, I am sharing that in that video. So I have been keeping track of my auditions and in January I did one, two, three, eight. I did eight auditions, so I wanted to tell you guys how that went, which ones I got booked in and which ones I didn't. So I only had in the eight auditions, which is pretty low, but still, um, I mean, it, it feels like it's ramping up again, acting. It feels like it's starting to get a little bit more active and I'm starting to finally submit myself again. So in January, I got five auditions from my agency in San Francisco, Marlin L Talent. Three of them were voiceover, one of them was internal usage, and one of them was for a commercial audition, and I did not book any of them, unfortunately. Two of them were NDAs, but uh, the other ones, usually tech for commercials in San Francisco, some kind of tech like LinkedIn or Facebook or... Uh, Salesforce is really popular of course I've I've auditioned for Salesforce so many times and then on Instagram somebody reached out to me and I talked about it in a video before this but on Instagram somebody reached out to me about a short film uh, they're a horror film that they're making and I actually did a live audition for that one well a video a live video audition for that one um, everything else was self-taped and I got a callback for that. So they sent me the script and they asked me to um, read it and see what I think about the role. And so I should be hearing back from them today, Friday. Um, and then I got one from Facebook for another short film. I'm a part of a bunch of different Facebook groups. And in one of them, they were like, we have this film. It's filming here um you know send your headshot resume links to this email and i did and i sent in a self tape i didn't book that either the only thing that i got a callback slash booked um was that 
uh, the other short film. I'm not sure if I've booked it yet, but based off of the email, we just have to talk about the role and if I'm able to do what they want me to do, then we'll do it because I think I'm supposed to play an instrument. And then, um, of course, the video I made about how to be on Netflix and the three different ways uh, I auditioned for Hentified season two through Cast It Talent. So this month I didn't do very many self submissions. I just did those three through Instagram, Facebook and Cast It Talent. And then my agency got me the other five auditions. And yeah, I didn't I essentially didn't book anything. Right. Because I don't even know about that short film yet so i still have to hear about that but i'm i'm okay with it honestly i'm not upset um i'm enjoying myself making youtube videos and doing these auditions and also this week i've been doing that self-tape class which tomorrow is the last day of that class and i need to do my last assignment today it's pretty simple but i do need um a reader for that it has the other person has maybe three lines so i'm gonna wait until um my boyfriend's home so he can help me out with that but after that, that's it. The The self-tape class has been really helpful. In my vlogs, I hope to share with you what I'm up to and also it'll give me a chance to just talk because I'm just home. At the first Saturday of every month, I'll share with you all of the auditions that I got and where I got them from. Um, if it's something really exciting, of course, that you can be a part of, I'll of course share the links with you to go and audition for that. And I'll make, I'll still be making all the other videos on Mondays and Thursdays. But for now, I wanted to vlog and they might not come every Saturday, like I said, because I might not have much to share with you but I'll still have a video on Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to feature a subscriber of mine because I look through my subscribers usually to feature somebody and I saw that she was subscribed to me, super talented. You guys need to go check out her channel. She has done a really fun web series through the pandemic and she also recently shared a video on how to create your own work, how she created her own work. So you guys should go check out UBT. I also became a Patreon of hers, so go check out her channel. And if you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.